Hello everyone. Okay, we have another problem to deal with. We have square root of x plus x equals 2. And um, if you're new to this um, channel, please do well to subscribe to my channel so that you can always see my videos when I upload. Now, what do we do? How do we deal with this? I want to take this x to the other side so that this right here will become the subject. So I'll have root x that is equal to 2 minus x. Now, the next target is how do I remove this? To remove this, you will have to square that because square and square root have a way of um, cancelling out themselves. And then from here, we have 2 minus x. Now, there is one um, introduction to the left, and that is the square. And I have to make it reflect on the right. Now, the left-hand side is squared, and the right is also squared, meaning that I have not changed the equation. But then this can now go with this. So x will be alone, and it's equal to 2 minus x to the power of 2. And then another point to note is um, the square here means that we have this in two places. So we're going to have x minus 2 minus x. Okay. Okay, this is equal sign. Multiplying 2 minus x. Now, a couple of my students will ask me that since we are, you know, squaring what we have here, why don't we have different sign? This will be negative and this will be positive. But that is not correct because we are not dealing with difference of two squares. So what this means is that this right here, 2 minus x, is appearing in two places. So that's what we did here. Let's open the bracket. x will be equal to 2 times 2 is 4. Then 2 times minus x is minus 2x. Minus x times 2, that will be minus 2x. Minus x times minus x, that will be plus x squared. Okay, so if I continue with this, eh, I'll have x to be equal to 4. This and this together will give minus 4x. Then we have plus x squared. Okay, so this is now a quadratic equation. And um, let's continue. I want to write this first. x squared will appear first. This is minus 4x. If this goes to the other side, it becomes negative x. And 4 here will come here, which is positive 4. Now, everything is zero because nothing is on the other side. x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to zero. Okay, and um, I would love to solve this with um, the formula method. If I'm going to do that, then I should have my A, my B, and my C. Now, the reason I always use the formula method is that it works for all, sim all quadratic equation. Okay, now our A is 1. That is the coefficient of x squared, right? x squared. Then b is equal to minus 5. That is the coefficient of x. And then c is the constant, which is positive 4. Now, the most difficult part, you know, when dealing with uh, the formula method is remembering the formula. Okay, so let's deal with this. What is the formula? The formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, let us substitute so that x will be equal to minus b. This negative, you will write it. b itself is minus 5. Then we have plus or minus. Then b squared will be minus 5 in bracket squared. Then minus 4 
times 1 times 4. A is 1. A is 1. And then um, C is 4. Okay, so let's continue. As we divide this by 2 times 1, which is still 2. Now, to take a step further, our x will now be minus minus is positive. Plus or minus. Then we have minus 5 squared is 25. Minus 4 times. Okay, I think we should just do it. 4 times 1 times 4. That will be 16. Okay, so we have um, minus 16. And then we divide this by 2. Okay, so to continue, we have x equals 5 plus or minus. Then we have 25 minus 16, and that is 9. Then we divide this by 2. I know some persons will be thinking I should have um, used factorization. But this is what I prefer to use. Okay. Now, let us um, continue. X will now be 5 plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3. Then we divide by 2. Okay, so our X will now be 5 plus 3 over 2 or 5 minus 3 over 2. So, if we continue, then our x will be 8 over 2, or 5 minus 3, that will give us 2, then over 2. Now, x is equal to 4, or 1. But the question is, do you think these values of x will satisfy the equation? And in the first place, what is the equation? The equation is root x plus x equals 2. So we want to verify. If we put the first value of x, it means we'll have root 4 plus 4. Root 4 plus 4 is the same thing as 2 plus 4, and that is 6. This means that the first, which is x, equals 4, does not satisfy, so it has to be rejected. Now, the second is x equals 1 so that means we have root 1 plus 1 right because we have root x plus x and that is the same thing as 1 plus 1 and at the end of the day we have 2 and we had the same 2 on the other side of the equation so we can now say that our x to be equal to 1 satisfies the equation Thank you for watching and um, if you're still here and you love my method, subscribe to my channel and if you do not, say something at the comment section, let me know how you feel about this video.